The very first thing I auditioned for was the school play to play Mary, and I didn't get the role. And then I wanted to be an angel, and I didn't get that. I came up with that the nativity play needed a sheep. I cast myself as a sheep and convinced the production that they needed three sheep. So my best friends at the time were also sheep. And we sat next to the baby Jesus. And we bleated. And I got my first laugh. I was hooked. The first professional job was uh, Bush Christmas, which was a film I did in Australia. And I was 14 and it was shooting out in the bush in Queensland. And I got to eat witchetty grubs. Do you know what witchetty grubs are? No. They are worms that live in the earth. They're a milky white colour. And I eat them in the film live, yeah. I was excited to do that. I'm one of those people. I could go on Survivor. I wouldn't be good at the like all of the climbing and all of the physical stuff, but I could eat anything. Just so you know. That's my secret skill. Give me a cockroach, I'll eat it. Spider, I'll eat it. You name it, I've tried it. I'm adventurous. I don't see myself as fearless. I actually see myself as, as being fearful at times, probably because I experience fear. It's not that I don't experience that, but I kind of just walk through it. I did a play in London recently, and that was really debilitating fear. And every day I just had to go, okay, get through it. I mean, I had pure stage fright, fright on the side of the stage where I would have rapid heartbeat. That was frightening, but it was one of those things of just going, I just have to walk through this. And I think I've just always been compelled to do that. Big Little Lies for me was so complicated and that was what was so beautiful about it, is the complications. At times it felt dangerous and really upsetting. I would keep on a very brave face at work and then I would go home and, and I didn't realise how much it had penetrated me. And I look back on it and go, wow, I was really disturbed and hurt. And, you know, I would physically have bruises in my neck and I'd be taking Advil and going, oh. And I felt very exposed and vulnerable and deeply humiliated. I remember lying on the floor in the bathroom after, at the very end and I just wouldn't get up in between takes. I was just lying there sort of broken and crying. And I remember at one point Jean-Marc coming over and just sort of placing a towel over me because I was just lying there in, you know, half torn underwear and just basically on the ground with nothing on. And I was just like, <gasps> but I also at times where I would have flashes of images of women that have gone through this, I'm like this is authentic, this is the truth and this is what I have to do. And it would just come through. I grew up yeah. watching sort of Starsky and Hutch and Bewitched. <laughs> Brady Bunch. I know every Brady Bunch episode. So I grew up watching TV, but I also grew up watching a lot of theatre. Uh -huh. And I grew up with literature. I always wanted to play Natasha in War, War and Peace, but too late, too late. Keith and I, that's so funny, we were just working on our karaoke. I was like, we've got to do some flashback karaoke. Can you believe this? Listening to Susie Quattro going, oh my God, that's stumbling in. And then we were doing Captain and Tennille. These are great karaoke songs. So stumbling in and love will keep us together. We were doing a little of that. Our kids think we're just ridiculous. But hey, <laughs> flashback Friday. We play it on uh, his phone, on Spotify. We'll just go and grab the tune and then we just lip sync to it. Our daughter will film us on her iPhone. Not hers, but my iPhone. She'll, she'll film us doing it while the music's going on his phone. That's like homemade karaoke. I can do any ABBA song. You ask me, I can do it. Fernando is my favorite. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Okay, stop. That was great. I want more. That was great. <laughs>